Welcome people to another video and today we're gonna be drawing So we're gonna be drawing real time today and for what I'm gonna be drawing today is The second page of the comic that I posted last time We're gonna be doing this real time and you're gonna go through my pro I'm gonna go through my process with you guys and I don't promise that the video is gonna be very dynamic but at least you're gonna understand a little bit more how I draw and since it's gonna be slow, you guys are gonna see all the mistakes and everything. I think that's gonna be very interesting for you to learn and as well as to just see how I do it. And at the end, I'm gonna be compiling all the videos and just make it a time-lapse video just so it's easier for some people to watch because I understand that watching a long video isn't like the best and most people don't have the time for it. So let's start. So right here I got, I did the sketch for the whole page and uh, well, we better start, huh? So right here, the first panel, I'm gonna be starting cr by creating a new panel, I'm gonna, uh, a new layer and I'm gonna be naming it panels just because they're gonna be the panels layer, duh. And, <laughs> and what I'm gonna do here, I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know, draw all the panels in, no problem. So this is the first thing I always do in a comic book page, and it helps me get the se uh, the feeling of what I can and cannot do, because if there's no, no limits for me, I'll just go wild, and I do not want that, because then I start losing some sense of what I of what I want. It's... So here, all of that. I'm gonna create a group down here and I'm gonna name this panel one. All right, I'm gonna put the color on orange because it helps me. And I'm gonna put the panels on top of that. Of that. So I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna name it uh, Doki, oops, ooh, Doki Dom. Oh. What happened? Oh no. I'm gonna name this Doki Dom because the comic is about Doki, my character that I came up with, this guy right here. So, what I'll do is I'll merge these layers and I'll turn the opacity down around 30 32%. And I'm gonna draw him. So, I usually go for a for this comic, I'm gonna I'm usually using a, a 10, what you know, a 10, a size 10 for the comic. So yeah, and what I'll actually, what I'm gonna be doing is a sketch better defined. So I use this um, blue blue color for the ink, and it helps me kind of get the, uh, you know, it, it helps me know that I'm doing a sketch and not an actual drawing so there's not that much pressure for me to just get it right because I'm trying to figure out how everything's gonna connect and I apologize if I get silent it's just it's just that when you're when I'm concentrating and getting everything there's just no way I, I'll, I'll be able to talk because I I'm not used to talking and drawing at the same time so yeah that's gonna be that's very interesting for me right now so let me see here I can kind of get this going right there then this going right here so huh, let me see yeah 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 this is this size is a little bit too big I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. No, that's way too small as well. That was way too small. I think right here should be. So you can tell that I'm kind of picky uh, at how I want this to, to look. Not really, but you know, I just want to get the feel for it. This should be happening right here. And that right there. So this is gonna go here. 
That's gonna go there. That's there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect! I am happy. Not doing. Nah. Nah. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's way better. I mean, and that, let's see. Yeah, turned out pretty good. All right. Something like that. Then, right here, he's gonna be putting the backpack down. I think there was a pocket right here. I don't remember. <laughs> I just, do it. And, he, and he's got these kind of, I don't know what you call it, there's these straps going around just to hold, I, I'm not, it's not to hold the armor because I, I, I actually made this character a while back and I used to draw on paper, I mean on the, on with the mouse. Uh, 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 Microsoft Paint. I used to draw this guy and hmm, so I used to draw him a little bit. You know, that were <laughs> that was nice. You know, it was a, a fun experience, but it wasn't. I didn't have a lot of practice on it. I mean, I had a lot of practice because I, I made like these flash animations of it, of the card, of the drawings. Not animations per se, but they were sli kind of slides, you know? I used slides with the Microsoft Movie Maker at the time. And I, I made... Uh, like a little story out of it. I mean, I put music and all that. Made subtitles to act like as if they were talking. It was pretty nice, it was really nice. And I really liked it. The bad thing is, I... Let's see what I'm gonna do this here. Oh, not important. Uh, the bad thing was that I lost everything, so I can't really share with you guys. See how bad it actually was, right? Actually, for the, the sketch phase, I don't. I'm, I'm not worrying about using every drawing everything in the same layer. So I'm gonna draw the monster the same layer as well. Shoulder blade right here, and these really long, thin arms. That's what I kind of wanted to make with this monster. I wanted to have like these super thin arms and long arms yeah that works that works let's see the body will actually go um, the muscle over here the body will go right around here the leg will go backwards and then the double jointed like goat leg will be like right about here and the mountains yeah so that's Looking pretty good. Let me take this out. And yeah, first panel. And the now I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in the 30 opacity. Now I'm gonna do make the layer dokey on ink. And this is where I'm gonna have, put a lot more detail on the drawing. And I'm gonna still keep this up. And maybe I'll put this a little bit lower, yeah. I'll put this a little bit more. No, yeah, something like that. That'll work. So now is where I'm gonna put the details. And now I'm gonna go black with a black ink. And just lay out all the details. And Take your time on this stage. I, I I usually I usually do, and I enjoy 
a lot this stage. I enjoy this stage more than the sketch phase and I dare say I enjoy it more than the actual coloring phase, which for me is one of the best phases to do, is the coloring part. So yeah, inking, I really like inking my drawings. It just, and you can see that I'm not following all of the, um, all of my lines. I'm just trying to make everything a little bit simpler, everything a little bit more dynamic. And here, here I might do something. This is gonna be a little bit of trial and error. There we go. We're, you don't have to be straight with this part because I want it to look like it's old. So the more it's you know bent and not straight, the better in this case. Yep, like that. Then you can do something like this. I like to do it like that. That he also has this standard cowboy like this like stripe. I don't know. I always do it. So it's not standard I guess, but it's standard for him. Yeah. So you can see a little bit more cross section here. Right there. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking that this shoulder pad is way too bulky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of thin this out a little bit. And I'm gonna continue it to, to the second shoulder pad that's underneath it. And I'm gonna... So... One thing that I am doing here is that I'm working at a line thickness that I normally wouldn't. It's a little bit too thick. And here's right there. There we go. It's a little bit too thick and I'm not sure that I like it. I mean, for now it's fine, I guess, but I like how it looks, especially far away. So what I like to do here to convey like like a shape here, especially with cloth, 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 is just to make the sh instead of doing like a straight line like this, I'll do something like this, right? So even though it's not a straight line, it's just you know a lot of lines together, close to each other. It makes, it gives the feel of a straight line. And that's, it gives the illusion. That's all right, right there. It's kind of unusual, it's kind of weird, but it works. And if it works, we roll with it. And this, we're gonna have a little bit of scratches out here and there. Yeah, like that, yeah. We're gonna make this part though a little bit better than it was and by that I'm going to do this and I'm going to shrink a little bit of that part so it's I, I mean I add a like what like a millimeter more but you know that that adds a lot later so yeah do that try that and we're going to make these lines right here because you want you want to make it look like they're pushing the, the cloth is being pushed you know tugged on that's what we all want in the end to make it look like it's actual clothing and not you know something that you just put there just to pretend it's clothing which I've seen people do and uh, it's not really nice, so I would definitely recommend doing uh, at least pretend, uh, making the illusion it looks like a cloth. Just like that. I'm gonna put some rivets, rivets, mm, rivets. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, put it, let's make it go a little bit over here. 
So one of the one thing you can do is to make it look like it's you know it's actually there. Do that. You know it helps. And if you do something like this, then you'll get the, uh, the illusion right there. Because it's it's supposed to be a glove. This right here, and this is a metal, and then a glove, and then a metal right there. And that's that's one way of conveying the shape that you want or the material that you want. You give it lines to make it look like it's a. Uh, around here and you can see that it's still going the same direction and that is what we want that is what we want all right like that something like that hmm interesting design I came up there let's see here so it kind of goes like this, and this seems to be going upwards. And I did have a bunch of... Good. Let's see. Actually, let me see. Yeah, I got it right there. Somewhere right here. I almost got it. And that's one of one of the things I, I wanted with this comic. I don't want everything to be perfectly symmetrical, even though it helps uh, to make it look better and everything. I find. Especially with some of the artists I, I recently discovered and like. That you don't need to do that to make your art look better. Because if, you, if your art is good, it's going to be good no matter what. That's what I found. And just letting your own hand do the work and not having perfectly symmetrical and straight lines all the time helps a lot in kind of defining your style and you know it gives kind of a character to the drawing I find so that's something to keep your head up for because good uh, um, some of the artists that I really like do that they look like they, they don't care if it's clean or not like Kim Jong Gi which is a really, really good artist. He does that. He doesn't really, he doesn't use rulers, he just goes with the flow. And his drawings are amazing. Anyone who knows his, him, his drawings, anyone who knows his art, knows that the guy is a monster when it comes to art. He's one of the best, if not the best. In my opinion, he absolutely is. And. You know, everyone is just doing what they can, right? No one can be like him, so you have to do with what we got, with what we got. For me, I don't want this the this comic in particular to have a lot of cross hatching, but I just can't help it, man. I just can't help it. I don't want it to. Be, that's the thing. I'm. I like to put a lot of detail on all of my drawings. But with this comic, since I wanted, like, if I if I continue to do it, I wanted it, I want to like have it done fast. So I want to do it fast. But I don't. So that's one of the things why I, I can't have a lot of details in every panel, and that was one of the reasons why I kind of stopped 
doing another cover that I was doing because I, I accidentally put a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. So wait just a second here. So right now I'll take down the opacity of the layers just so I can get this and close off all of the exits from the character. What this does, for me at least, is it makes it easier to color him. So yeah, so we're done with the character. Let me take off this and this and this so you can see that the line's done and it's, you know, it's pretty okay. It's alright. Isn't the backpack a little small? Maybe. Oh, yeah it is. Of course it is. So, and here's an, another thing that's awesome with visual art. You can do this, which... You're doing traditional, you really can't do it. So... Look at this, look at this. It doesn't have to be perfect, thank you. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let me see, let me just... Yeah, because it's a travel bag. I figure if it's a little bit bigger, it's... You know, get enough of like that. So, let me see if I can do this with this beast. Yeah, alright. I, sorry again if I'm way too quiet on these videos. I just... I'm, I just concentrate too much, I guess. Uh, if I do more of these, I'll, I'll have to get better if I do more of these. I'm not really sure. I'm, like I said, I'm still kind of figuring stuff out for this channel yet. I don't know what I want to really do. So, here it goes like this, like this, and yeah. Something like that works. Yeah, let's get this, let's get this done for you here. Get all the anatomically <laughs> correct muscles there. I don't know why I'm doing anatomically correct muscles. But, yeah, whatever. Alright, we got that. We got that. We got that. somewhere so right here what I'll do is just draw over because after when we start coloring it it's not gonna show anyway so it doesn't really matter so what I use this for is just to get the the lines closed because like I said it's kind of important to get your lines closed for this part um, because when you color it's gonna be way easier if you just have everything done the way it's supposed to. Okay, I guess I've got everything I need right there. So I want to, I, I, like I said, I don't want everything to be super straight, but I, I, uh, I think that for mechanical parts, not all of them, but some of them, it's kind of good if you have the them straight or slightly so I don't know some people make can make stuff like that like mechanical parts and weapons and all that yeah, still be wobbly and still look really good I don't think I can no, I can't even do it when the the lines are perfect uh, are perfect so yeah Okay, so these are the two characters done. It's kind of weird. This month is kind of weird. The perspective is kind of weird. That's called the background. Oh yeah, oh I almost forgot. Close up these lines as well for the monster. Now I'm gonna go to the background BG. Which would be this way is kind of faster to do it. Just get your selection tool 
Mm, let's see, where is the, the stroke? Fine, I'll, like, I'll put just a save me. I'll put like what, five pixels. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the monster, yeah, the monster's kind of a curve, yep. So it will be like that. And then the road would kind of bend over a bit. The, the, the road would kind of go like that. Yeah, maybe like that. Maybe something like that. Yeah, something like that. So there's a little bit more space. Because I know that this right here is not. Yeah, like that would be better. Remember, this, this layer is going to be in the bottom of everything, so there's you shouldn't worry too much that you know, you're know you drawing inside the lines of these characters because it doesn't really matter right now. And here we're going to you know, just put some random shapes right there. Yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do to color it and in the next video I'm going to color it. So this is what I do. So I'm going to create inside this folder another folder I'm going to be called the Doki Dom. I'm going to put in there. I'm going to create another folder it's going to be Monster and he's going to be inside that folder. Everything I do is going to be inside this folder and it's, it's it, you know, keep yourself organized or otherwise everything's going to go wrong pretty quickly. So while, let's see, yeah, I'll take off the rest and I'm just going to focus on him. I'll, go, I'll get him and every negative space that that is not with him. So with that, I'm gonna go in and expand the selection, invert it, go to this layer here, call it, we'll name it mask. Then we're gonna press shift F5, 50% gray, normal opacity there. Then we can start erasing some of the parts that the selection couldn't do. Just to make things easier. And this, this way of coloring is way easier because, because if you lock it, if you want to draw, see, it only goes inside. And so you can create layers on top of layers. And that is how everything is going to be made. And for the backgrounds, it's going to be the easiest one because we're just going to need to get this, call it mask, oh, call it mask. And we're just going to get the selection, the, everything outside, we're going to select everything outside, invert the selection. Actually, we're going to go everything outside, you know, select, modify, expand, then invert, and then you do this and there you go you got everything selected for the mask for the mask for the background i usually like to go with a lighter color or a darker color because it just helps to kind of separate the background from the foreground and that right there is what done and this is gonna set up for our next video which is gonna be how I color everything so I hope you enjoyed it and see ya to the next one bye